He is probably the worst VP in Sons of Anarchy history. We are talking about Terry today because we look at the promo for the series finale of the Mayans MC. It appears that Terry, well I say it doesn't really appear, there's literally a gun pointed to his dome. But I think there's more to this than meet the eyes. I doubt the Mayans have went out of their way to capture Terry. I feel like he's went to the Mayans. Because in the background, that hand, I think that is none other than... Bishop, it looks like Bishop's hand, and then the guy holding the gun, I mean there's quite a few tattoos on it, I can't quite make out who it could be, it's definitely not Isaac's tattoo, because he's got like the compass, that's not what it is, but Isaac, he makes reasonable sense to point a gun at Terry's head, but I feel like if they were going to do that, that should have happened last episode, I feel like there's another twist in the tale here, I feel like Terry is going to betray Sam Dino again. He betrayed them a few episodes ago by letting Hope and Letty escape. Then he shot himself in the shoulder. I just don't understand. I, I don't understand how you can have a character that was so adamant for war against the Sons. And then he gets his war and his arse collapses. And see before anyone goes, oh, but he gets shot and he ended up in hospital and then Isaac came back. Does, does he not know that in war people die? I mean, he's the one that blew away half of Oakland and Coco. I don't understand. Terry is just a weird character. Is it a writing flaw? It probably is. I'm not saying getting shot, nearly dying, changes your outlook on life. But for Terry, he's completely like a, a, a 1A. If you really want to Isaac out, shoot him, kill him, do something. It's like Isaac's almost the perfect president to have if you want to kill Mayans in this war because he does not give a fuck about your members. He will literally go to war and lose as many people as possible and kill as many minds as possible. Even though this season, that's not really the case. He would rather get Letty to infiltrate the Broken Saints, which again, what what did that accomplish? They've stopped the pipeline, right? That could easily just be set up again. They killed two Broken Saints and they killed Elio. So three people they're doing. Really? That is what the Suns put their effort in. That's, what, that's why they rode 12 deep. Why don't they ride 12 deep? To wipe out, you know, mines. I guess I, I know you could say, oh, maybe five guys is enough to wipe out Angel. But they, they sent five guys to wipe out Angel. They've shot Felipe, and we don't even know if Felipe's dead. They lost Wood, and hell, Joker could be dead. There's no confirmation that Joker's alive. Well, let's be real about it. The guy could be absolutely done for. And here is Terry, probably going to make another deal with the Mayans, he's probably going to sacrifice himself, and I think, as you see later on in the, pr the promo, and we'll see in the episode, the Mayans confront Sam Dino. I say the Mayans, you've also got the Iron War, Grim Bastards, probably throw the Broken Saints in there. They have all united against the Suns. It is the end of their era. Ah. You know, I want Sam Dino to win, I want the Suns to win, but I'm a betting man, and uh, I wouldn't touch the Suns even if they were a billion to one at this rate, I just do not see how they win. But for Terry, I feel like he's going to go to the Mayans. He's going to give up the location where Sam Dino will be. And in that scene where the Mayans bust in and batter them, that's exactly what's going to happen. Terry's going to give them up. And I think Terry's life will probably be spared. Even though I wouldn't be surprised if Easy just shot him in the head, to be honest. But at the end of the day, I don't understand why we're having a scene the Mayans are coming in with like clubs and baseball bats and whatever and they're hitting the Suns. Surely as soon as that door busts open man, for the Mayans with all these melee weapons, Isaac clearly has time to react. Why is he not whipping out a gun and dropping like the first few guys that come in that room? It's just, again, are, are Sam Dino going to be in a location where they don't have guns for some reason? I doubt it. They're in the middle of a war. It's just another plot hole. If I'm being brutally honest about this show, that why why wouldn't Sam Dino have guns? Like, at least when Mayans did it, when they were fighting other Mayans back in season three, it was kind of like just a fist fight. And the only person that died was the guy that got shot accidentally. It was kind of like the 10 on 10 we had in Sons. But here, this is like all out war that we're led to believe. Like, they just tried to kill, they just tried to kill Angel and probably kill Felipe. And what, they're just willing to let that slide. Anyway, guys, prediction is Terry has jobbed out Sam Dino, and he is the worst VP in history, man. I can't think of anybody else, but we'll do a list once this show ends, like, 
ranking every Sons of Anarchy VP across the universe. There's a lot of people in there to get through. And it'll be quite interesting to see who finishes last. <laughs> but anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. And until next time, peace.